Well, greetings, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, folks out there. This is a ministry of Jesus Christ. Thomas with you here today. And today we're going to talk a little bit about day by day with Jesus, living day by day with Jesus. And it's uh, ever so important that we live every day knowing that and the power of that. And the life that we're living is beautiful indeed. And uh, talk about this just a little bit. First of all, as Christians, those who have believed in Jesus, we believe verse 20 of Galatians 2. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Well, praise God. But whose life is it now? We know that our, our lives are hid with Christ in God. So the life that's now being lived is Christ living out through us. Yes, we are each unique witnesses of that truth. We each show Christ to the world in how he uses us in day by day, today. And so he is our savior. We we'll praise and thank God for that truth. He is indeed. For he truly saved us. And once we are saved, our life is his. Ooh, yes, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And to say that takes the Holy Ghost to say it and, and actually mean it, believe it. But to say that then means that he is the Lord of our life. And that's what a lot of people get upset about. They're, they kind of like the, the Savior thing. The Savior thing may not be so bad. I had a brother recently say this, and that is that you know, say, uh, that's, hey, he's going to help me, you know. That's, but when you say that Jesus is Lord, and mean it, that he's, he is the Lord of your life. That's where they get stuck. They don't want anybody telling them how to live their lives. Help me if you want. Save me so I can go to heaven someday. But living day by day in Jesus. Jesus, the Lord of our lives living out through us to others in whatever capacity it is and which how he lives out through you. And that's a beautiful and profound truth because it changes everything. It changes everything. And it truly does. <laughs> now that Jesus is Lord thing. Here's the, the problem is that the devil and every lost sinner who they're the Lord of their own lives. So they think they've made themselves to be false Lord, <laughs> but not the Lord. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, when Paul is beginning to write about the gifts, he makes a very interesting statement in verse 3. Wherefore, I give unto you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed. Praise God. And that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Oh, I've heard people mock the words or mouth the words. There's, there's no truth behind it. There is no truth behind it. 
We can only confess such a belief if we actually have it. And therefore the spirit of God is in us. And we can say that Jesus Christ is the Lord. And mean it. Hence, then, live it. <laughs> we can live it now. We can live it because we've been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. The life which I now live in this flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And hence, I have given myself to him. It is sold out. Sold out. We say, yes, Lord. Not well, if I got time to do it on Thursday, maybe I could do it on, what do you think? Sold out. Jesus is the Lord of your life today. It's his way. What he has for us. The truth that we walk in. The things that we will learn and experience today. The things that we will share with others, speaking to others. The witness, not only of our words, but of our actions. All Christ living out through us. Because we do that which pleases our Father. Not because we have to. But because we love our Father. And we love to. We love to do that which pleases our Father. And thanks to Jesus and the Spirit of God that dwells within us, we can, day by day, every day. When we wake up in the morning, what is the morning about? What's the first thing we make ourselves do? What are we thinking about? Are we, do we pray? Do we talk to the Lord? From the moment we open our eyes in the morning, throughout the course of our day, dealing with family or friends, and perhaps co-workers and, and all of those things, the people that we meet on our journey through the day at the gas station, the grocery store, the bank, wherever it happens to be, all of those interactions, the time that we spend with the Lord, Versus the time we spent, you know, do we have that time? We do have it. Do we use it? That's it? We may fill it with other things, and hence we don't use it, even though the time is there. It should be auto, automatic. To spend time in, with the Lord. Getting to know God. Through his word. He has given us his word that we might know him. And his word reveals Jesus Christ. So if we want to truly know the Father, know Jesus. If you want to know who God is, know Jesus. And that we learn of him in here, in the word of God. Spending time reading his word, studying his word, praying. I pray before I do either of the other two, but, <laughs> but do them. You know. Do we take time for all of that? And as we lay down to close our eyes, sleep the sweet sleep of peace in Jesus. What fills our minds and hearts is our head lay upon the pillow. O oh Lord, what are the 27 tasks you have to do tomorrow? A day that isn't even promised to you. How do we live our day-by-day -day life with Jesus? Scriptures tell us we need to study and grow and get to know and experience all of these truths. And it's always amazing, awesome, amazing, just how God brings his word to life in our lives studying things and then something happens over here and you're I just studied that I just read that I just you know, 
and the days of drought when we what's up? Do we turn to the Lord? Seek and beseech? Or do we say, oh, not today, I'll watch a movie instead? Oh, turn to the Lord and beseech. Lord, I'm in a drought. Where are you? <laughs> and we go through all of those things and experience those things to grow. To get to know and to grow in our relationship with God in Christ Jesus. But it is to be filled with his spirit. That those things which we know, grow, learn and share with others. By the power of the, the, the works in us power of the Spirit of God that works with us, in us. And we learn of these things and we grow in them and we experience them. And oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God. Day by day. For you have today to know in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. We believe in our heart and we confess with our mouth, right? But what say that the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart? That is the word of faith, which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, thou shalt believe and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, and believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. The word shame there implies shall not fail to be saved. We believe in our heart, we confess with our mouth day by day. Walking with Jesus. This is our Savior, our Lord, our best friend, too. Oh, yes, our teacher. His words, so beautiful. And in the right context, we are edified and grow in our knowledge and our understanding of our relationship with him. And it's blessed, blessed beyond any relationship that the world can even begin to comprehend. How beautiful a truth it is. And I'm going to add this, though we weren't going to add this, I'm going to add this because One of our favorite prayers and we pray it for you now and here in light of what we've just talked about hear the prayer for this cause i bow my knees unto the father of our lord jesus christ of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. O oh, glory be to God, to opportunities, to potential, beyond anything we can begin to think or imagine. And we can know the length, the breadth, the depth, the height. Knowledge that it can only be from God. It can only be from God. Oh, now that's the way to live a beautiful day in Jesus. Amen. 
Amen. Thanks for sharing.